Hey everybody, the Bonga is back. Welcome to part 13 and let's play Illusion of Gaia, brought to you by GameAnyone.com. Alright, we're back in the second room of hope now that we got this here statue. Let's put it to good use. Oh, it's another strange whisper. Now what message do I get? Uh, what are these messengers gonna tell me? Better be something important. The sun god, Rama. The ocean holds a power. That couldn't be any more vague, apparently. But it appears that now the water seems to have receded completely. Now we can go to the lowest levels of the dungeon. Get ourselves another red jewel. In fact, I still had one from the Seaside Palace that I might as well just pass over. Now I have to think about my next move. Where is it? I suppose with all the water gone, more enemies are going to appear. That would be the only logical thing. As you can see, there's the slimes and the golems. Probably some raids are going to show up. Now, where exactly do I go? Oh, right down here. Uh, I think I'll go this way. Oh, there's two raids! I love this psycho slide. Or slider. It's just so powerful. Your defense has increased. Nice. Then I shall go this way. Oh, another raid just popped up on the top part. Come on, attack me again, I dare ya. Take care of these golems before I get to that treasure chest. Now, what's this? You found Rama's statue. Nice. Safe to say, I'm going to need that to get even further in the dungeon. There's one more enemy remaining. And that was that wraith that shot at me earlier. There we go. Problem solved. Strength has gone up. Thankfully, now that the water has receded completely, I should be able to kill a lot more enemies and thus get a lot more stat boosts. Now, let's see. I guess I go this way. Another wraith! Like, I don't mind you guys are showing up, but why do you always have to be above level? That means I have to wait for you to come back down. And waiting is the hardest part. Killing these guys sure ain't, though. For epic justice. Nah, nothing up down there. Oh, another golem. Ah, uh, come back up. Yeah, two hits. Mad? Now you did. Power up. You found. Wait, there's another one? Oh, guess I needed two. It's just like the uh, Inca statues in the Rye Cliffs. You actually needed two there. So safe to say, I should be able to get to the last part of this place. Now, you can do this as Will, but I heavily advise you do it as Frieden. In other words, we have to take the long cut to get there. Sad but true. Is there anything up there? No, I think I was already here at some point. Oh well. So might as well get these enemies killed. They did ask for it, after all. Killing these enemies is the most appropriate time to blame the victim. Enough said. 
HP is up again! Hmm. No more enemies in this area. There is an easy way to the sanctuary where you can put in the two statues. But like I said, it's a much easier time if you do it as Frieden. But unfortunately, you have to go a longer way. But suck it up, Buttercup, because it's worth it. Trust me, he has a lot easier time than Will against the upcoming boss. Just thought I'd warn ya. Oh, there it is. Please! Save. Made a nice bit of progress. Alright, so now we have to head all the way back to where I need to go. No psycho slider for you, Frieden. It's too bad because that seems to be one of my favorite moves now. That's so why I gotta go this way. I'm sure he'll find some ability that will make him invincible temporarily. I hope. Now let's see if I can get through this without any problems, such as getting lost. It's worth a shot. That's right, now I can get down here. That's not the way I want to go. So I'm guessing that I need to go somewhere else. Like down here. Oh, there's two more enemies here. I thought I got everyone. Guess not. Oh, that should not have been a hit. But it was. And there's one more enemy. Up oh, there it is! Nice of you to show up, Mr. Wraith. I assume you're Mr. There we go. No more enemies, and I have to go through this room. Now I just gotta make my way through it. That shouldn't be a problem, because I'm pretty close. Ow. Ow! Damn tentacle rape! Especially the neon kind. That is never a good tentacle rape. Then again, what is a good one? Try all the tentacle rape there is, then come back to me and see which one is best for you. I'm not gonna try that myself. You guys are my guinea pigs. Anyways, I believe I gotta go in this direction. Go through this entire corridor, curving east. There, I made it. This is Rama's sanctuary. So what you have to do is put all the statues over here. And those statue heads look mighty happy. Warping power. This looks like an ancient burial ground for the people of Mu. Yes, because these faces over there say ancient burial ground for the people of Mu. Like, you can just tell right by their pupilless eyes. I am Rama, King of Mu. My body passed on long ago, but my spirit lives on. If you look closely, you can probably see wandering spirits. Uh, no, probably. Once a single ray of light came from the sky, people thought it was the light of the spirits. One year after that, our bodies began to change. One got very thin, one turned to stone, one's body melted like water. Ah, eh, that sounds like a regular life in the history of American people. Except for the water part. 
family and friends turned to monsters before our eyes. We fought back the tears. Again, America. Except they have no tears. Many saw no point in living and this thing continued. Some couldn't take it and thought we should flee from here. But Moo's an island. We didn't know we'd find another place to live. There were no materials for a boat. It would sink if made of stone. Then don't make a boat made out of stone. They started building an undersea tunnel. They dug on, not knowing how long it would take. Undersea tunnel? Uh, I guess we don't know how long it's gonna take either. The underwater tunnel dug by man is inside. Please take this mystic statue. Okay. Now that gives me three. And three more to go. This one's a dull, burnt sienna color-esque, or tan. Hmm. Seeing as how a boss battle's coming up, I heavily advise you to charge up Dark Friar. Eric? What are you doing next to a bomb? Help! Someone save me! You found the mystic statue. I thought that guy who came to the palace was strange. We were right to let him go. What are you saying? You were drooling when he was here. You're always like that when young ones come. All you ever think about is food. So do you. Wait, this is not the time or place for an argument. First, let's get that mystic statue. Get ready. Okay, it's boss time. You gotta take on two vampires instead of just one. Every time you hit them, they'll tend to counter with a whole bunch of force field energy. You know, that makes it try to collide into you. The female one shoots like one shot straight forward. The, uh, the male one tends to shoot them like four ways. Thus, it's a little bit more difficult. If I were you, go after the female one first. You! You did that to my wife! I'll never forgive you! I didn't come here for your forgiveness. I came to kick your ass. At least they don't sparkle. And here's another issue that I forgot to mention. You have a time limit. See that bomb next to Eric? When that goes off, you lose. Like, it's over. Sadly, you don't even get to see an explosion. Just, it ends. So essentially, it's a race against the clock. Get in a few shots, back away from the vampires, and you're good to go. Just remember, Frieden has it easier because he has more reach if the vampires are, well, out of your way. Got him! Didn't even have to use an herb. And yes, unfortunately, the transformation does take up time. First, defuse the bomb! Hurry, hurry! Why, we can't have a conversation or something? Fine, whatever. There's a red wire and a blue wire sticking out of the bomb, because, you know, those are the only two colors you can think of for bombs. Cut which one? Blue one. And the bomb was just a dud. The bomb has been defused. Saved! Lily speaks from his pocket. Sorry, Will. There was nothing I could do. My legs gave out from fear. I couldn't move or make a sound. Up to now, I thought I was strong. But in a crisis... Sorry for staying, so, staying in your pocket for so long. You liked it, admit it. Don't tell anyone that Will's in disguise. What? Oh, you were talking about Frieden or something? Oh well. How'd you guys get here? Will, are you okay? Will, I don't see Lily. Has something happened? I'm here. Yes, teleport away from me. Sorry I was worried. Sorry I worried you. Will was protecting me, so I was okay. Something about me being grown up, that's what Neil said. It 
doesn't matter. Let's think about how to leave Mu. That's good. We heard some things from someone called Rama. We all told everyone about Mu and the people who had come through the underwater tunnel. It's such a sad story. Separated from those with whom they lived. Others remaining underwater. If we go through the tunnel, maybe we can reach the mainland. Good idea! Let's get out of here! If you're wondering how I skipped that text, apparently if you hit any direction in the D-pad, that cycles through the dialogue too. That's one thing I didn't like about this game. Five days have passed since we entered the tunnel. The same scenery goes on and on. It's hard to keep track of time. Let's rest here today. I'm so tired! I must have walked 500 miles today! This is crazy! Having to walk so far! Enough! You've been tired ever since we started this trip! Uh, look who's talking. Lance is right, Kara. I think all of us feel the same way. Let's eat. I'm hungry. Uh, Eric, what are you doing? Hey, don't look! I assume he's peeing. I wonder how far this tunnel goes. Thousands of years ago, people walked through this tunnel. Somehow, when I think of the distant past, I feel so insignificant. That's because you are. People are strange. I'm afraid the longer we travel in this tunnel, the easier it will be to forget why we are here. Maybe all ancient people were that way. I want a steak and a salad. My skin has gone dry from eating weird food. Yeah, I'm pretty sure there's a salad bar and a steakhouse within this tunnel. Yeah, nice thinking, Kara. Okay, I'm gonna stop the video here. Next part, we're gonna go look for a steakhouse. I mean, some food. See ya.